I think I know why you're here. You just bought, or are planning to buy, DJI's Mavic Air 2, and you really want to make your footage look cinematic and amazing, and you edit in Final Cut Pro 10, like I do. If that's you, welcome in. You have arrived at the right place. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to color correct and color grade footage shot in D-Log, which I recommend shooting in, don't shoot in normal, shoot in D-Log from DJI's Mavic Air 2. Really quick, I wanna mention, I'm not gonna be using any plugins. Everything's gonna be done within Final Cut Pro 10. If you own Final Cut, you're gonna be able to make these adjustments and make your footage look amazing. So without further ado, let's dive into the two clips we're gonna be working with today. The very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go up into your window, workspaces, and color and effects. Change that from default so that you have all of your color information over here. I'm really gonna only be messing with this Luma waveform over here. This vector scope has to do more with skin tones, which there aren't really any with drone footage unless you're shooting someone from really up close. Um, so we're just gonna stick to this for the most part. So the first thing I like to do is get our exposure correct. As you can see, we're a little underexposed. You want your darks, your blacks to be down here close to zero, so those are pretty close, but you want your highlights to be up here near 100, kind of in that 80 to 100 range. So I'm only gonna pull down my blacks a little bit. Here's our blacks, midtones, highlights. Of course, we are in our color board one over in the exposure section. And then I'm gonna bump my highlights way up a good amount because that image was lacking a little bit of light. So that's the first thing I like to do. After that, jump into saturation, crank that a little bit. I like to go about halfway, maybe three quarters of the way up, all the way. That's too much for me, it doesn't look great, but I like to add just a little bit of saturation right off the bat. Then I will go into our color wheels, and I think I'm gonna warm this up a little bit. It's looking a little bit blue to me. I wanna have that warmer summer vibe. So as you can see, I just bumped up our temperature to 6,000 Kelvin from 5,000. And look how much I did already, much warmer image. Now, I don't really like how the sky is so orange. So what I'm gonna do is add another color board and this time add a shape mask. We're gonna drag that shape mask up in the sky. That's the only area it's going to affect. I'm gonna go color, hit our master over here on the left and we're just gonna bring our blues up a little bit. I kinda wanna get rid of that orange up in the sky. So boom, that orange is already gone, and this is what our clip is already looking like. So much better. The next thing I'm gonna do is introduce an S curve by going into our color curves and lowering our shadows a little bit, our blacks, and then raising our highlights a little bit. What that's gonna do is give the image a little bit more depth, contrast, um, and just kind of make it pop, really bring it to life. So let's see what that looks like before and after. You can see how much more definition it already has. Now I'm just gonna circle back to our color board one in the exposure segment, and that shift a little bit after making those changes. The darks are actually looking pretty good, but the highlights need to be brought up just a tad, I think. There we go. So I like to kind of reevaluate, jump in there at the very end. So for a lot of people, I think this image is done. It's color corrected, but I kind of want to add a little bit of an orange and teal grade to it. So what I'm going to do now is go into our hue and saturation curves, click on the left and the right of the orange. So here's our oranges. I'm going to pull those up ever so slightly. You can see that red has already been in introduced into the image. And then I'm gonna go into our teals and do the same thing until I think it looks nice. We can't push this too far because this Mavic Air 2 footage is shot in 8-bit, not 10-bit, so we don't have that much flexibility. Let's see if I boost it. Look how awful that looks already. Over there, it's totally breaking down. We don't want that. So I'm just gonna add a little tasteful orange and teal action here. Here's before, here's after. Now to make that really pop, I'm gonna go down into our hue versus saturation. I'm gonna make those same little nodes there. I'm not sure if that's the proper terminology, but that's what I'm gonna call them. And this is gonna make what we did up here just a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna raise that a little bit. As you see, that already made the red, orangish look on this rock much more punchy. I'm gonna do the same thing with our teal color. It just brings it up a little bit. So that's it for this clip. I think that looks pretty darn good. There's the before, there's the after. 
That's looking real nice. Let's move on to our second clip. All right, here is clip number two. Basically gonna go through that same process, but with a different clip, a little bit of a different exposure and composition. So let's go through the process again. Exposure. We need to lower those blacks quite a bit. You can see Nick is right here in that waveform. So I don't wanna go too low or else Nick's gonna get way too contrasty and just not look great. So I'm gonna pull those down a little bit, bring our highlights up, bring those blacks down a little more, bring in some more contrast. That looks good. Bump that saturation a little bit. Give it the S curve. Boom, boom. And look at this. Look how nice we're already looking. Now I'm gonna give it that orange and teal look. So we're gonna go to our hue saturation curves. Orange, teal. Bring that up a little bit. Bring the teal up quite a bit. Brighten them up with our hue versus saturation. Brighten that up. There we go. Get that teal. Brighten that guy up. Doesn't do a whole lot, but it does a little bit. You can see up here, kind of in the top right, it definitely does do something. So I'm gonna pull that up. Now I'm just gonna go back to our color board one again, do that final adjustment like we did on the last one. You can see the highlights are capping out a little bit over 100, which I don't want. It's kind of what you can see is going on over here on the left. So I'm gonna pull that down just a tad. Blacks, let's see, adjust those. And I'm probably gonna pull the midtones up just a little bit to brighten the whole image. And I'm thinking that looks pretty darn good for about a two minute grade. I don't know, let me know down in the comments what you think, but I think that looks pretty sweet. So here are two clips side by side. I think they pair really nicely. Ooh, that looks great. And as you saw, that only took us like a couple minutes. Once you get fast at this, it's just muscle memory. You just go through the process and don't be afraid to tweak and play around with it and adjust for your own personal style. I hope you guys got value out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'm gonna put that little subscribe button up here. I'm gonna link another video where I go into a more in-depth guide for the Mavic Air 2. You can learn a lot how to take off, how to master the settings, how to master the camera. So go right over there and I'll see you in the next one or in that video. Peace.